Okay. Oh, we got 1,700? Yeah, let's get more health. Sure. Seems like a no-brainer. Um... Quick step cancel. Hmm. Oh, a power attack. Hmm. That guy. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Drunken fist. Press triangle near an enemy when drunkenness is above six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, we can go in here, can't we? Yes. Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. Whoops. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? Okay, talk with Shintani. Just got the call from Mafia-kun. Sounds like they're seriously gearing up for this trial. You and Shintani better be ready. Can we talk to our girl too? Oh, we can't. Sad face. All right, here we go. So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? Mm. You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th. Police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. About quick search mode. Quick search mode is used when examining pieces of evidence. You get a complete view of the object in question on the left side of the screen during quick search mode. On the right side of the screen, you'll see an enlarged view of the area as well as a cursor. The parts of the evidence you can examine will appear in the enlarged view on the right side of the screen. Pressing X when the cursor is hovering over a particular area will allow you to examine that area further. Examine your evidence thoroughly and satisfy all objectives. I have to figure out the cause of death. Hmm. Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. 
Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Jesus. Oh, you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. So what we know for sure is that Boo was involved because he did indeed go for the eyes. So Minsk probably has something to do with this murder, but I'm not sure what clan he's in. We'll have to, uh -huh. we'll have to, we'll have to check this. Uh, there's no bruising on the hands, so he didn't fight back. And his shoes are spotless. Weird. Um, oh yeah, right there. Something's not right. If this is where the murder <laughs> happened, where's the blood? Hmm. Okay. What the? Whoa. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the oh, body. Okay. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Hmm. Next, I need to figure out how they disposed the corpse. Is there anything that would point to that? The giant trash? Bag? Suspicious. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Mm. <laughs> hey. What the? Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. Now the investigation's complete, but can there be hidden ones? I don't think so. Okay. Looks like we're clear. All right. Find uh, a cat? I didn't see a cat. You no take Coletto's a peek in the there. alley when you were over at Amor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point. But it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume. Just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? There's a good chance the murders are the result of a Tojo clan versus Kiori clan turf war. Yep, go on. All right, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. Hmm, okay. December 3rd, just around nine o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hamura then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hamura kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, 
Their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of Amor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, Me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts So we its gotta credibility. find that alibi. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. <laughs> okay. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three... The prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's a lot of reasons for them to suspect Hamura. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's uh, Arshintani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um. Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it. The person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamura's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamura. A lawyer's job is only to prove reasonable doubt, not the defendant's innocence. To them, the truth is irrelevant. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kume's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyori clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. He's right. No self-respecting Yakuza would run off to leave his buddy to die. Murase must have at least attempted a rescue, but to find out for sure, that would mean... Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Murase. Huh. You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's a deal, remember? The deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. This is a hard-boiled plot. I love it. Dude, I'm I'm really digging this so far. This is this is first This is first, like Yakuza, but a whole different side of it. Clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Great. All right, let's move. Yeah, it's like the other side of Yakuza. Yeah, it really is.
I think we gotta go around here. Probably should have gone around to the north. That's okay. Oh, can I beat these guys up? Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Come here. He got fired up, chat. He's fired up. Bam! And stay down. Cool. My son taught me how to chatter. Nice. I just throw myself into the middle of groups of men and, and hope a fight comes from it. Don't forget to decorate your office. Oh, good call. Man, they're like blocking the hell out of Damn, son. Oh, my lord. The douche. Scud douche. We got a friend in here. We gotta go talk to our buddy. We got a friend in here. Looks like he's the main dude over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go around over here. What's up, buddy? Are we free? Welcome, sir. What can I get you? I will have. Do you have. Why? Oh, you don't. Um. Let's try. What is, what is Colby? Let's try Colby. Mm. Ah, it's the spot. Back to it. D. Okay, what, what's going on here? There's a thing over here. Oh. Huh? You need something, dude? Oh, no. Sorry. Another host done, a hard, done with a hard day's work. I probably shouldn't bug him. Okay. I don't want any food. Okay, I guess we can't do anything with him yet. We'll come back later. Oh, what is this? Over here, an empty building? What this? Oh, is this our building? Game? Nani? I, I do like games. A capsule machine? Some of these. One more for science. Okay. I feel science. We're good. Anything else down here? Oh, it's like a whole arcade. Virtual town? What are these games? Oh, it's like a Bobo arcade. Yeah, I can't play any of these. This arcade sucks. It's like the arcade no one goes to anymore. Every town has one of those. Yo, 
I got a crab. Zach187. Dude, it's pretty rough, buddy. It's pretty rough. Appreciate it, man. Oh, wait. Can we go in that back room? We gotta see for science. This is gonna be a quest area later. Yup. Unnamed building with explorable locations we can't get into. Yeah, someone's gonna die back there. That's gonna be a murder scene, chat. Someone was murdered! Well, not yet, but probably. Yeah. How long have I been playing this game? I've been playing this game for three hours, just about. Mm -hmm. Papa! Um. Well, this is awkward. There we go. Want to learn about our music fair today? Sure, Sota! Hmm? Hi. Simply, you spend 700 yen, you earn one point. Get 10 points, you earn one gift. That's all there is to it. What kind of gift? A limited edition record! Okay. Uh. I mean, what, 7,000? Haha, <laughs> pocket tissue. Oh, here's my stuff. I better buy one of everything, just in case. Oh. Oh, God. That's really expensive. Hug bomb? Experience a hug in liquid form? Yoink. Thanks, with this purchase from UA today, your points total up by 10. And we just became super friends! Right now you have 10 points in total. Nice, you finally got 10 points. Keep this limited edition record, sir. Thanks. 500 SP! Please come again. Good God! Raising your friendship with the locals will allow you, allow you to perform EX bonds with some of them. EX bonds work the same way as normal EX, but they can only be triggered at the specific location your ally is. So if you find someone in town that you think would make a good ally, definitely get them on your side. Dude, this guy tosses us hot sauce, and then we use the hot sauce on their eyeballs. I'm guessing that's what happens. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. The Kwame 2 ally system. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. Patriarch of the Matsugane family, a Tojo clan subsidiary, Mitsugu Matsugane. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. Boy. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? 
I was under the assumption Gender is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. I'm sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. Great. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. Seems like a nice dude. I like him. Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. That's cool. It comes to this too. I like it. That's fun. Am I taking a lunch today? Yes. Yeah, I didn't really get to get a breakfast this morning. Um, because the kids needed uh, more attention than usual. So I'm, I'm definitely going to go get a lunch today. Yeah. Uh, so voice with the three months just started outward on YouTube. I uh, just want to share the good news. My daughter's brain cancer shrinking up to three centimeters. Hey. Awesome. So voice good vibes to you and your family, man. Hope everything works out for you. Great news. Step in the right direction. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate your support and good luck. Ask of a Joe with a $26 tip. Hey, congrats to you as well, man. Awesome. Mermidot with a thousand cheer. Siratita with the 60 months and Olive Jam with the two years. Thank you for that. I'm just going to keep walking into that wall because it looks good. But thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Good vibes, too. Well, there's got to be a fight back here. We want to fight. Balls! None of them want to fight. How about you guys? You want to fight? You want to fight? Whoa. We got to fight, boys! Yeah, put that down. Oh, I can't run up that wall. Bam! Hey, Haunted Dreams, what's up, bud? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Great. Hey, you better move. What this? Hello? 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 Okay, I guess nothing. When's this game set? Uh, I don't know if it has an exact time. It might. I'm just not sure. We got him on the ground. Ow. Well, bam. You. Come here. 
Hey, just blew. Nothing to see here, boys. Keep it all moving. What do we got here? Modern Mahjong? No, thanks. What's my inventory look like? No limit! Oh, there's no limit on inventory size. Feels good, man. Feels good. Yeah, time to hoard. No kidding. What's up? It's me. You at KJR yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. Uh-huh. Oh look, a cat. Plus five SP. So big guy. Suspicious. There he is. That shirt's like a homing beacon. <laughs> See you. Be up in a sec. It was her. That window? Oh yeah, he was just getting a massage, chat. It's very common in Japan. <clears throat> Baka. Is this one of those, is this a cat bar? Oh my God. I would probably die in this room as somebody with cat allergies. But that's okay, it'd be worth it. I can think of worse ways to go. I didn't even need to go in there, it was just a place. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, co hug. No kidding, man. For sure. Oh, looks like we won't be going in that way. Okay. Say? Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, Wait, you ass. Oh my lord. Oh, I don't like those currently unavailables. I need to pick the flight part of the drone. Okay. <laughs> this here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. This is highly illegal. Sounds good. Oh my god. Examine areas using the drone. Use the objectives displayed in the top part of the screen to help you figure out what you need to investigate. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's a cat. I heard that. Oh, it's uh, I get we're looking for Marase or something. Fly that thing back over to KJR. I can't fly backwards. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Okay, the right stick goes left, right, hmm. up, and down. And the left stick forward. Oh, I can't. Okay, I can very slowly go backwards. I hear you, Kitty. Where are you? How high up can I go? I wonder if that's the kitty from before. This music is awesome. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. It's like down here. Kitty. Over here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's up on a ledge by the fence. Now it's over here. I'm gonna find up. Oh! Kitty. Kitty. What the? Kitty. Hmm. Oh, look, a cat. Okay. Now, the real question are there multiple cats? Huh? I am a complete peeping Tom, can confirm. This is my life now. This is my life. Hmm. Just gonna land on this nice woman's head. Hmm. Okay, it's specifically saying it's somewhere here. So maybe, I, I'm pretty sure it's this building. Maybe I missed something, like, on the far end here? Oh, 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 oh! Hmm. I can't, like... There we go. There we go. Uh -huh. It was totally him, right there. How do I... What? Oh god, I'm doing something dumb. Do I have to get closer? Ah, I have to be just the littlest bit closer! There it is. Hold up, hold up. That's him. Beautiful. Awesome. Shit, he went inside. Let's try and figure out where to. Hmm. 
Can we fly? Do we? Do we really want to fly this in the building? You think we can go in? Oh, this seems like a terrible idea. Oh god, this is a terrible, terrible idea. No, no, we can't go in here. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, we we cannot go into the building. We did not go up here. There's no other floor. Did we go on the roof? No. Okay. Are there windows on this side? No. Okay. He's not on the bottom. Five hours later, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Hey, there he is. Well fucking done, man. Cool. Bada bang. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... I could try scaling the side of the building, then climbing in through an open window. Do you even know how to scale a building? Besides, people see you doing it. Not to mention the bloodbath. We just flew a freaking drone around the outside so. of the building. Yeah. I think that's okay. Let's kill that idea then. You got a plan B? Rude. I guess we're putting on a disguise. Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who has? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tok's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. And probably the first thing we do when we get back from lunch. All right, my dudes. Well, this has been the very beginning of judgment, which is awesome. I'm going to go get some food because I'm pretty hungry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. If you're, if this, is your, if this is your first time here, my name is Ko. Hi. We're happy, helpful, respectful community. We love being new people. First step, hit the follow button. And a big thanks if you're one of the people that did today. I'm going to go out and get some lunch. And then this afternoon, we are going to play more Judgment. Uh, I'm having a great time with this game. This is kind of awesome. And uh, I am really looking forward to continuing it. So we're going to be doing more Judgment this afternoon, starting at 1 p.m., just about an hour and a half. Then tomorrow morning is going to be the charity stream with Guardian Con. So between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to be doing Guardian Con the entire time. Once Guardian Con is done after tomorrow, I'll be taking another lunch break tomorrow afternoon. And then right when I get back, we're probably going to say around 1.30, uh, we're going to finish Danganronpa. 
So for all the people that wanted to see the end of Danganronpa, I'm hoping we will have time to do that tomorrow afternoon. If for any reason we don't finish Danganronpa tomorrow afternoon, then we will continue it this weekend and uh, and get that done for sure. Um, Danganronpa will be finished before the end of the, the weekend. So we will go from there. And then depending on our charity goals, we'll make plans after that for what games we're playing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are around the world. Thank you for spending some of your life here. I hope to see you in just about an hour and a half for more judgment. But if I don't see you this afternoon, hope to see you tomorrow morning for the big Guardian Con charity event from 8 to 12. If I don't see you then tomorrow afternoon for more Danganronpa, have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye-bye.